Hi guys, today I'm going to make a video on <clears throat> a way to encourage um, activity for um, bugs to pollinate my custard apple and my cherry moya. So instead of um, hand pollinating my, my, fruit tr uh, my, my flowers, I'm going to use these guys. This is compost from the kitchen and this technique involves old used up um, fruit like these apricots, old discarded lemons and basically any fruit that's rotting or on its way to rotting. Here is one of the cherry moyas. They're all flowering now, they've been flowering for about two or three weeks since the beginning of the of the year and well I can take a brush and muck around with um, these flowers here when they open and a few of them have already opened on the other uh, cherry moya but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invite friendly bugs to come and do the work for me. It takes longer than um, hand pollinating, but it saves me the work. So this is how we do it. Take the bag of compost, uh, well compost, kitchen waste, and you just scatter it. Just scatter. Just scatter around the base. Don't be shy. So we've got bananas, we've got sugar cane that we chewed on. Next bag. Right under the tree. There you go, lemons. So that's how I'm gonna do it. And you might say, oh that's messy. Yeah, it's messy, but um, it depends how well um, fussy you are. If you're really fussy. Just grab some of this mulch, all right? You really, if it really matters to you, and just throw it over like that. Well, with one hand I can't do it, but you get the idea. Just grab mulch, grab mulch, and just throw it over. And before you know it, you won't see anything. Another idea is just come and grab a, a pot. and take the pot to, well, fruit trees. They might have spoiled fruit on them. Just go looking around. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. And you're bound to find something spoiling. Let's have a look over here at the lemon tree. Sometimes they've fallen on the ground. Oh, there's one. If they're good lemons, <clears throat> I bring them in. Let's see. Mm, that's a good lemon, so I'm gonna bring that in. Now this lemon is not good because it's soft. It's sitting on the tree too long so it fell. Oh, there's one perfect one. Perfect. A rotting, nasty fruit is perfect. See, even this has its perfect use. You would never imagine it, would you? So I'm going to pull out the good lemon that we're going to take in the house and put the rotting one in there and the one that's about to rot in there and keep going. Next I'm going to hit the apricot tree. Let's see if there's anything up here that's rotting. See, this is when you don't mind to have rotting fruit. Okay, there's one apricot rotting. Ugh. Ugh. Perfect. Look at that. That's exactly what I wanted. Who would say that about fruit? Me. I would. You won't believe how this technique actually works. Hmm. Here's another rotting apricot. So if you don't have a compost bin or compost, 
Well, just check out your fruit tree. You're always going to have some rotting fruit. Wow, it looks like the apricot is exactly what I needed. Look at that. Disgusting, putrid thing, which is exactly what we need. Don't forget to pick our fruit off the tree. And uh, that also accounts as um, a bug <coughs> um, welcomer. And I think lastly, we'll go with the pepinos. Yeah, why? Because we want to welcome our friends in the best way we can. That is, get the best chance we have. So we treat them like special guests. Look at this. Beautiful riding pepino. See what I mean? Oh, wow. There's another one. See, I make use of everything. I'm not going to eat that. I'm going to give it to my friends. Who are going to pollinate my custard apple tree. So now with my goodies or my bait yeah you could call this bait I'm gonna give it to this custard apple tree who's also been flowering for, for a couple of weeks In January is when these guys start setting flowers and February is when they start setting fruit in Melbourne I know we're uh, <coughs> we're a month behind New South Wales but that's how it is here in Victoria. Okay, let's get down here. So, oh, you've asked me, a couple of you guys have asked me, why am I using these, these contraptions? Well, should be obvious, to prevent the, the birds from doing this. Birds love doing this. They love digging, like dogs, except they're digging for worms. And that's that's all right if they're out here, at the at the, the outer reaches of the tree, but I don't, I don't want them doing that where the roots are. No way. So let's get to it. Okay, okay. They've got a smorgasbord of um, fruit: apricots, pepinos, and lemons. And no one's going to move this. Ingenious or what? There's a couple of oranges that have also fallen down there over the last week or two. I'll get those also. Always an abundance of uh, fruit that's spoiling and rotting and ready to eat. So there it is, guys. <clears throat> this is what the flowers look like. This is what all the fuss is about. It's all about these guys here. These are ready to be well, used. These are females, and uh, you pick the pollen and you give them um, to the males, and then back the other way when they change sex according to the time of day. And I'm not gonna do this by hand, I'm gonna let the bugs do it. Hands free for me. So guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see what the results are in about a month. And by the way, uh, I hope this 4K video comes through. Sorry about yesterday's video. I wasn't uh, aware that extra long videos just cannot be used, cannot be made 4K unless you got a, um, unless you have a software package that does all that. I don't have anything like that, like Adobe Premiere and Adobe Photoshop. So I'm doing everything raw. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this um, smart little trick on the. Um, Cussed Apple and Cherry Moya, please put a like, subscribe, and we'll see you from the next video. Beautiful. This is the other Cherry Moya. It's got hundreds and hundreds of uh, flowers.